stuck in construction traffic. Oh, yay. Hello, it's Derek again. I'm back in Tuolumne with friends. Kaber is right behind the camera. Doesn't want to be in the video because he's shy. We are going to base camp at Cathedral Lake, Upper Cathedral Lake, and just do a whole bunch of climbs. We're going to spend three or four nights there and hopefully hit up uh, Cathedral Peak, Mathis Crest, Tresseter, Columbia Finger, maybe even Echo Peaks, um, if we have the energy and the smoke window. Since uh, we're only hiking about four miles and a thousand feet gain to Upper Cathedral Lake, uh, we have quite a bit of stuff. Uh, it's going to be kind of a tag team adventure because to start we'll have four of us, myself, Kaber, Kieran, and Hannah who will uh, meet us at the lake. And then after day two, Cathedral Peak, Kaber's going to switch off with our co-worker Aida and we'll do Mathis Crest and other things with her. Oh, nice gooders. At the moment, it's a beautiful, beautiful clear day and we took advantage of the fact that we were waiting on Kieran's partner Hannah to show up and we did a warm-up climb which I was going to record but then my GoPro had some technical issues and decided to just not record it. Uh, but it was a really cool climb on Lembert Dome and we're all warmed up. Northwest Buck. We, we're about to depart up to Upper Cathedral Lake. Eric has uh, turtled his backpack. It's very impressive with climbing helmet and blue day pack included. It's like four times as thick as my body at this point. Ultimate thickness. There's Fairview Dome. We are probably uh, coming up on two-thirds of the way there. It's 6 p.m. Sunset at 7. So we've been hiking for about an hour because we left at 5. It's late. Taking a quick break. There's my goofy pack. There's a goofy caber. And up there is the magnificent Icorn Pinnacle, which we will be on top of tomorrow. Cathedral on the right, Icorn on the left. So it's really dark. We have made it to our intended campsite. Uh, you'll see plenty of this place in the future because we're going to base camp here and spend about three nights. So I'll show you around later. At the moment, we're just waiting for Kieran and Hannah to show up. We're not really sure when they're going to be here, but hopefully they're able to find us. So you probably can't see anything, but Kaber and I are kind of starting to cook dinner here. It is, what, 9.30? 9.15 at this point, but we're cooking dinner. Kieran and his partner Hannah just arrived and they brought the bouge. Uh, brought the bouge. <laughs> <laughs> We've got lights strung up. Kieran's backpack literally weighed more than me. And Hannah has joined us. It's going to be super rad. <laughs> I know you said you'd be narrating, but all of a sudden there was like talking to Kaber about this? Alright, so it's super dark and late and clearly we're not going to get our uh, alpine start that we thought we might on Cathedral given how late we're eating dinner. What time is it? Uh, it's like 9.30. <laughs> That's not late. <laughs> well, it depends on how early we want to get up. So we're all really hyped. Cathedral and Icorn tomorrow. Hopefully these awesome conditions hold. Oh yeah, we got some... Pinot Grigio. Oh, fancy. Good night. Well, it's the morning, it's about 7 a.m. And unfortunately, it's a bit smoky. Uh, rolled in pretty quick, I think, because- Ruined! Everything's ruined. <laughs> everything's ruined! <laughs> so we'll see how the situation develops. Um, it is honestly quite smoky right now, but that could change hour to hour. That's how these things go. Kieran knows what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> It is approximately I already did that stuff, 8 a.m. <laughs> no Kieran made us a beautiful pancake breakfast. Also, you shouldn't hold the microphone. It's going to sound all weird. 
and Eric Start is over. being over. the most critical person this morning, Here and it's, it's hurting everyone's feelings. But we're just trying to enjoy these beautiful pancakes that Unicorn Kieran made us um, with some sweetened condensed milk syrup and fresh fruit. Camp Caber, you make me feel loved. Thank you, Karen. You beautiful man. Mine for punctuation. Well, so we're about to head off. We are going to hike to the base of Cathedral and see if the smoke starts clearing up. It's about 9 a.m. We want to leave at 8. So here we go. It's rather discouraging, this smoke. Go away, smoke. There's Upper yes, Cathedral Lake. There Down there. There was like this one move. Tresseter and right as Kieran pointed out. And Columbia Finger. What about beef fed grass? Beef fed grass? Yeah. I mean everything's probably kind of beef fed. There's the summit. There's Kathy. Oh yeah. So beautiful. So at the moment we're trying to crest this ridge here and get a better view out south because that's where the smoke is coming from. Maybe it'll be clearer, who knows? Oh no, that isn't. What is that? Yeah. Uh, that was a woodpecker. No. No, what's the deal? Uh-uh. That was an outside picture. Don't exist. <laughs> so it's quite smoky. Um, but the Garen, government says that it's 50 AQ. <laughs> the government says otherwise. Kieran says it's clearing up, so I'm hoping that he's right. He might be. He might be. Kieran is pacing in boredom. Hannah's taking a nap. And Caber is obsessing about buttholes. <laughs> we are waiting for the smoke to clear. And it actually might be. Uh, we're kind of... <laughs> maybe. Daddy Eric might lift his butt. We can kind of start to see Mount Hoffman out in the distance. And uh, the <laughs> wind, kind of. You can see the, sh the shadow of it. Yeah. And we really want to climb. It's the shadow of a man Hoffman used to be. We've been waiting here for maybe about an hour and a half. <laughs> Alright, we, we called it. We're going to climb. Here we go, up Cathedral. I am actually hyped. It's not going to be a great view. You can barely see Lembert Dome. But, here we go. All right, we're at the base. We're about to begin up. I'm gonna put away my camera for now and try out this GoPro, which I've never used before. Seems like as good a place as any to use it for the very first time. All right, so, camera just led up the first pitch. Hannah is just beginning her version of the first pitch. Uh, Kieran's building an anchor right now, and Kieran and I are here at the ground. Does it look like it's looking at you? Hi Kieran. You're catching up to me. You're catching up to me. chimney. Check out this bomber sling that uh, Caber set as protection. We're almost at the top. It's been kind of a 
series of legends right now. I'd estimate 50 meters to the top, maybe less. What up, Gaber? Cool couple moves there. Caber climbing. I wish I got a video of you climbing this part. It was pretty awesome looking. Just from like the angle of your rat. I don't think it looks quite the same. Me climbing it. Kick. Bit. Ah! Oh, the Icorn Pinnacle. Yeah. We're at the summit. Woohoo! Here's Cave Dog putting on some chapstick. It uh, cleared up a little bit smoke wise, which I'm thankful for. Right there is the Mathis Crest, which hopefully we'll do tomorrow. Uh, conditions permitting. What a climb. Very enjoyable. I hope I got some good GoPro shots. I have no way of knowing. Because uh, obviously this camera would not do well on a climb of this sort. Down there is Bud Lake. Got a view of Unicorn. Uh, Coxcomb. Echo Ridge. And Echo Peaks. And then of course uh, beyond it the two more distant peaks of uh, Mathis Crest. But Gaber, review the climb. Favorite pitch, favorite moment, whatever. Climb was great. We did it in four and a half pitches. I think my favorite pitch was either the third or the fourth pitch. Um, yeah, would do again. Maybe simul it. Um, yeah. I think. Uh, Doing it again is definitely a, a real thing because there are so many ways to do it. Like, you could probably do this 12 times and do a different route every time. And it's all like low fifth class, maybe five, six. Super good rock, super enjoyable moves. All right, we're about to down climb. Gabriel's gonna go first and then I'm gonna go second. It is pretty amazing being up here. I wish it wasn't so smoky, but it is actually improving. Um, and just the fact that like I've been coming to Yosemite for six plus years now um, and had always seen Tuol or, uh, Cathedral from Tuolumne before I got into backpacking and now that I'm quite into backpacking and do it for a job, seeing Cathedral from so many different angles and it looks so beautiful from all those angles that I'm now on top of it. Um, pretty cool to be able to point to it now and be like, I was on top of that thing with a friend with a clown hat. <laughs> hey, Karen. Karen's at the summit. All right, so we are making our way over to Icorn. We have to traverse this uh, kind of saddle ridge.
Whoa, are you guys doing Icorn too? You ever been to the summit? No, it's my turn. Here we go. Climbing, Caber. Oh yeah. Gabriel found some booty and he's trying to booty it. There's a nut in that crack. Although there's probably a reason why it's still there. I can feel this block move under my feet when you do that. Yeah. to anybody watching or my future self, which is probably the only person going to be watching, uh, this is my second ever rappel. Greatest fear. I'm pretty, I'm pretty gripped right now, to be honest. So we finished our wrap. We are now descending. We're not really sure where we're going, but we'll figure it out. It's been a pretty good day of climbing. I am not nearly as tired as I thought I might be. Uh, it was super fun uh, being on top of both Cathedral and Icorn. Gabriel, okay, is that class two? Class two. <laughs> Doing some route finding. That does look a little bit sketchy. <laughs> it could be done. Going down this gully, we want to try to go left of this dome. 
because eventually you want to go to that lake. So going down would make us extroverts because we'd be doing extrovert. Here's Eichhorn Pinnacle that we just wrapped off of. Yeah, it's beautiful. It cleared up quite a bit locally. Coxcomb, Echo Ridge, Echo Peaks, Cave Mountain, actually Mount Clark way out there. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> We're back at camp and intruding. <laughs> it's way less smoky here at the lake now. It's beautiful. <laughs> Which is not easy for your like your first lead in. I know. I got a little bit foisty with time. you, and it was really embarrassing. And then I felt like an idiot afterwards. You always get foisty. I know. <laughs> I was like, uh oh, is this the entire climb? And then after the first bit, <laughs> but I was really worried for Kira, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> no, I just get foisty on the first. The best is when you <laughs> climb with someone that doesn't know what they're doing and they have to trust everything you do. Mm. Like, Eric. Why are you looking at me, Caver? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> my climbing partners that actually know what they're doing always like critique my gear placements and anchors. I was critiquing like, it in my head, you Caver. Were laying me on this? <laughs> I was being no, nice. <laughs> I was like, man, that that nut was really in there. Couldn't get it out. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. I know, it's just yeah, hard. Karen comes up and Karen's like, wow. That place went so sexy, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> Eric didn't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I, I missed him, but Kaber just left. Cool. Tag team. Kaber has been replaced with Aida. Yep, you can't see you at all. <laughs> Welcome, Aida. Goma Petite. You've replaced Kaber. No loss on it. No, no, just kidding. <laughs> it's an upgrade, if anything. <laughs> Brutal. As long as you don't fart as much, I think. Kaber's gonna watch this video as long as and. I don't get the altitudes, you know. No, we love Kaber. You'll understand. You'll understand. So you can't see anything, um, but Aida is here now, just in time. This is not awful. It's just bagged it with a rock in it. Oh, I see. All right. That concludes day number two, the first full day. Super fun time on Cathedral. Oh shit. Uh, you want to be in it? Here, come on over. <laughs> <laughs> After I say, oh shit. Oh shit. Hello. Uh, <laughs> we've decided we probably won't do Mathis, but we're going to do, well, we'll see what the conditions are, but some pretty sick other stuff, uh, depending on how we feel. You're Just so here. formal when you talk to your camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry. good night. <laughs> It's the end of day two. See you in the morning. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty casual. What a beautiful morning. So glad it's not smoky. Hi, Ada. Well, I got my shoulders and back burnt. Oh, really? Yesterday, I can feel surprised? it. Kieran wants to do Unicorn Peak with this thing on. I'm doing a video now. <laughs> We're cooking some brekkie. And I'm really, really psyched for the beautiful day that we have right now. Gorgeous. So it's late morning and we've decided we are going to scramble some of the Echo Peaks. I'm not sure which, just going to go up there and figure it out. There is some haze coming in, but other than that, it's a beautiful day. Way nicer than yesterday. And uh, we've been kind of taking it slow. Okay, destination Echo Peaks is looking a little bit hazy, but nothing like yesterday. We go up through the saddle section right here? Yes, same approach as yesterday for Kathy. Going up that little domey dome. <laughs> <laughs> Making our way up.
Echo Peaks above. And there's Echo Ridge, might do that as well. Woo indeed. All right, so pretty sure that's Echo 5. And Echo 3 right above us, you've probably seen just the sun. But we're gonna start out on three, move our way across and see what else is on the other side. You have the lens cap on. <laughs> All right, friends. Erica, Ada, and Hannah were very slow. We were for you. <laughs> or maybe I just didn't communicate. Yeah, I don't think I communicated very well on that one. So, but here we are, we're cornering it up. We're uh, heading over up this. There, I think. For sure. Yeah. So, really camera's awesome. back in the hands of the professional. Uh, we're going up to Echo Peak number, I don't really know. It's clearing up the smoke, which is awesome. There's Cathedral, which we were on yesterday. I think we should have it on rope, like floss. Yes, we should. Have tie floss around it. You gotta so take the wind capacity into consideration too. Okay. Oh, that was on you. Yeah. <laughs> <Good. laughs> I can get above to shoot down that way. What are we doing, Karen? Living life, having fun, scrambling, tree scramble, <laughs> the Mathis crest. Math is crazy. You have to clean this lens now. <laughs> we're not doing the math is crazy, we're doing echo peaks. Oh, it's all fogged. Oh, great. Yeah, it's ruined. Sorry. The camera is ruined. Yeah, but we're getting cozy. We're getting comfortable. We're having fun. <laughs> we are about to scramble. That's what we're doing. You know he means business. Alright. Here we go. Test the rock. Okay. Ah. Yeah, yes, it did hit me though. Maybe I should wait for you. I look goofy, but good. Oh. A little bit iffy, maybe. This next, I think.
say in the guidebook? Knife edge bridge. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, what did it say in the guidebook? Draw a picture on the plastic. Does anyone Quite nice right here. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd come over here if you can. Eric, tell us what you are going through. What? Tell your followers what oh. you're approaching here, how you're we approaching this. We just did a class four section. Fuck yeah, buddy. <laughs> Fuck yeah, buddy. Yeah, we're about buddy. to do that. Up ahead. Kind of how uh, Northridge was. Oh, this is cool. It's actually very mellow. Yeah, super easy. This is what I love. Like exposed, easy scrambling is so fucking fun. A stupid unicorn. There's like no vertical exposure. What the fuck are you trying to do there, Eric? We're passing you because you're being too slow. Eric. Woo! 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 Fucking beautiful. I see another scrambler. What a beautiful day. Oh, this is so much nicer up here. Yeah. I know. All of a sudden, there's fingers looking in your buckle and you wonder if they're like. Okay, did your video of me going up it? All right, ladies and gentlemen, and all involved, here's Eric, your content creator, fearless as fuck, scrambling that ridge, oh, he's looking a little nervous, he's looking a little nervous, but he sends, he sends smoothly. Echo Peak Range again. This one is unnamed. Mm, this bar is delicious.
Wow, what style! What poise! The man, the myth, the legend. Karen, unicorn and all. be scrambling we are going to start descending back to camp it's so beautiful right now it's so clear I love it it's been such a good day
So we are currently making our way to a view of the Mathis Crest. We're not going to climb it on this trip like we thought, but we are going to see it from many beautiful angles. Yep. Yep. That's a five seven. That's like five thirteen right there. Sent it. Foot drop. Yeah. Run down it. Oh, Run down it. it. Oh man. Zach. I almost ate shit. You did almost ate shit. Echo peaks. Different angle. Okay, so we are deciding which way we want to go down. We could go right, which would actually bring us to our camp, or we could go the cool way that Kieran found down this canyon. Yeah, sure. I'm sure it could be. I bet those are a little bit longer. Slot Canyon in Yosemite? Yeah. Who would have thought? So we're going through the slot section. Oh yeah, there's no other way other than on top of it. My head! My head! Oh yeah. Squeeze. <laughs> Another squeeze. Catch it. Yeah, the other side. You can try the other side. But... Welcome to my butt. <laughs> what? Welcome to Eric's butt. Your subscribers are getting all sorts of extra content today. <laughs> you don't get this anywhere else. <laughs> Only on Eric Meyer YouTube channel. Oh, it's just really my sun or my sunburnt back. Oh my god, I heard that noise. It kind of scared me. Oh, it's not terrible. No. This is cooler. <laughs> True this is so cool. Like creek. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to take your shit? So we're doing something pretty cool here. This is a pretty cool. Um, you're, covering, ah! you're covering the microphone and the lens cap is on. Hush now. <laughs> Alright, so pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool. Can we even film Very it? cool. Pretty frickin' sick. Nerds. <laughs> Slab ramp. We are wondering what's going on at the other end of this. High altitude, over there is So we just exited the haze right onto a beautiful, beautiful slab. Look at that. Woo! This has been amazing. <laughs> no, there's webbing over there. <laughs> no way. For a repel. Really? really? Yeah. Uh,
Oh, the poor baby. Nope, that's it. They ran right past us. You scared them right. <laughs> they were going the opposite way and then turned and fucking. <laughs> Kieran, you sent them right down this gully. I didn't mean to. I, I tried to. Oh, there's one more up there. Oh, it's the baby baby. No, it's not super baby. Oh. I was standing there at the beginning of the gully. Kieran scared those deer. They were, running, they were running full speed at me, and they didn't see me. They were running right to the edge of the cliff, right above me, like 10 feet away. I was like, no, get away, this is not the way. Like yelling at them. And then they like, they kind of were like double, doing a double take, and then... Switch direction. Switch direction, but then com fully committed and like hopped off the cliff right past you guys at full, yeah. full bore. Yeah, that was, and I heard you yelling at them, I'm like, who are you yelling at? I thought you were yelling at we are almost back to the trail. Fortunately, I have to do some off trail travel. Okay. Almost completed what has become Ooh, a full yeah. circle around Echo Peak. Like a rope. Good. Back on the trail on the JMT. We're quite close to camp. We left the trail again, because why not? We are laying down by the lake, learning about how it's a froggy frog world out there. Or what was the other one? A bonobo, bonobo. eater, bonobo. <laughs> <laughs> That's the world I want to live in. Yes. <laughs> Lovely world. Oh, fuck yeah. It is beautiful today, and not smoky. <laughs> Same as in our parents' days. <laughs> a lot of pockets. Yeah. And a lot of stuff for for cams. <laughs> if you follow me, you can. We were about to crag at this beautiful, beautiful spot crag. by the lake. You can see Hannah uh, in the right bottom side of the frame, just near the lake. So he just set up a top rope where Kieran did, and he's rappelling down. It remains beautiful. It's getting a little later, but we're used to late dinners at this point. Kieran's making his way up the route, the very start. Oh yeah. You got it, Kieran. You're in sent it. <laughs> buddy. Anyway, you can move that out of the crack. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah, it'll be fine, I think. Okay. So we only had time for one climb. But, uh... You only had time for me to climb. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this pink. Look yeah. right above us. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Wispy Mountain Hut. Okay, really <laughs> I just feel like it's like, yeah, let's all go crack. I'm, I'm totally in. And it's like, <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm, not really okay. I'm just gonna, honestly, I'll just leave that anchor up there. Oops, I forgot to take a final video, but here we are. It's really dark. It's about 9 p.m. We're about to go to sleep, and I just remembered I had to say good night to the folks back home. 10 out of 10 day. Awesome and action-packed, amazing, beautiful scenery, 
great conditions, fun people. Good night. Tomorrow we might do Tresseter or we might just hang out in Crag. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host Eric's first attempt at a hand crack. He's a he's attempting a 510 Tuolumne hand crack, which is significantly challenging. His attempt on this project is to become meteor. You can see he's wearing socks. An interesting dis. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting decision in it. <laughs> Your host Eric is currently sending. He has made his way all the way up. He has jammed his feet. He has jammed his hands. He's gotten meteor. Look at him go. Eric, say hi to the people. Hi to the people. No, look at me. Okay. <laughs> he can't look at you currently. Eric, this has a sick nose mount. What? What? Alright, so we're getting packed up, and we are about to leave. Uh, Kieran and Hannah, we're going to stay, oh my goodness, Kieran and Hannah are going to stay another night, but they have decided to join myself and Aida out today. So we're all packed up with comically large backpacks, and we're going to hike four miles to the trailhead. And so our intrepid base camping adventure comes to an end. There's Echo Peaks up there. We're headed down the hill with our gigantic packs. Look how clear it is today. There's our buddy, John Kness. <laughs> All right, we are back at the trailhead. It was a great trip. Cold what peak. am I looking at? Oh Look at yeah. This. Feel it. Oh my God. That's great. Isn't that cool? Excellent trip. Highlight, Kieran. Thank you. Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Just all of it. All of it. All of it. I absolutely agree. No highlights. Yesterday <laughs> was was awesome. Just love it. It was a good trip. Goodbye.